John here guys and today we're talking about the SG1604 ready to roll drift car. This thing, look how beautiful this thing. It has sort of a Ken Block Mustang uh, drifting design and this is one of the funnest RC cars I've got to play with in a while. Um, and I'm going to tell you a ton of the features on board here. It handles exceptionally well. I mean, it is so fun. It can drift, but it can also just drive clear in a straight line. Sometimes with these drift cars, they just load them up with so much power that you really can't drive it as a regular RC car. It just kind of does donuts all day. This one does both. It has really good control and it has this feature <laughs> that they're calling ESP. Does that mean it can predict the future? Right? Um, no. They're saying that it is an electronic stabilization uh, gyro built on board that will really keep you from tipping over. Is that real? Electronic stability program with a gyro on board on an RC car? Is that really real? Well, I think that it might be because I never managed to flip this thing over. Um, I did manage to land on its side one time out of all the times I was driving it. And uh, that's like because I was drifting through some water. Um, I just couldn't get this thing to flip and that's so refreshing because all of the cars that I've been having uh, lately They've had so much speed and they're fun But when you turn if you don't turn exactly right, it just goes flipping like 30 times down the road This thing is just like it's on rails. It actually handles like it looks um, I also love that this thing has an open body cockpit. You can see I've mounted a little FPV camera right there and that's because you can actually put some goggles, put somebody in first person video view and they can see through the camera and drive as if they're actually in this little car. It comes with a perfectly serviceable transmitter um, with a nice little steering wheel with a little foam on there to be able to drive. Um, it has some trim functions on there. It doesn't really have an external antenna, so I don't think you get a massive amount of range, but working in a parking lot, I never lost range, um, so that was perfectly fine. Comes with two sets of tires. Um, these are some treaded ones with tiny little treads, just like real tires that you can run on the street or on blacktop. And uh, it comes with some slick, hard plastic ones. So if you were on a slick floor, like a garage floor or something like that, or on tile, you can run those if you really wanted to get some little spinning, drifting donut action. Let's take the cover off and check this out inside. Now, you see this little wire? I can just unplug this, that goes to the headlights. Speaking of the headlights, there is two-tone um, wiring in here. That means that you have kind of a red surround and a white flashing light in the middle. It really looks very cool and aggressive. Gives you some excellent styling as you're zooming around the parking lot. Check this thing out. Look at the shocks. Look at the differential here. This it has a high strength nylon material planetary gear differential. Really excellent. I do like the receiver on here. It gives me good range. These, This one comes with two batteries. There's also a three battery version. Each one of these batteries is gonna take a couple hours to charge on this supplied USB battery charger. You can also charge these much faster if you have a hybrid grade charger, but I do like that they give you a charger so everything you need is in the package. It truly is ready to run. Um, these batteries are ex essentially two 18650s wired up with a little um, connector on here. This is a JST connector. Uh, it's a 2S. I kind of wish that it was an XT30, but that's not really a big deal. Um, it has 1200 milliamp hours on board. That's going to be good for about 20 minutes of driving. So with two battery packs, you could go drive for 40 minutes. It's just so much longer than drone flight times. It's really exceptional. The shocks on here are really, you can see that they're nice and stiff, but still give you a great amount of control. Um, there is some really good bumpers, both on the front and the back, but they're not too heavy. Um, the thing that you want to note about this is look how low pro everything is look how much the weight is centered right in the middle of the wheel design that's really what's going to give you some of that great handling and the ability not to flip over here's the little servo for the front steering it works great and this receiver unit really is a little bit more beefy than i'm used to seeing although i don't see anything about that gyro um, indicated anywhere on here this electronic speed controller is supposedly 
40 amp rated so it can provide quite a bit of power to get you going now straight line speeds Now straight line speeds, this is not a max performance straight line speedster. It's a great handling car. Straight line, straight line will go about 30 kilometers per hour. So it's not blisteringly fast. You do have a nice little antenna here for that range like I was mentioning, but this is a great thing. The best part about it is even with the battery, the extra batteries, the remote, the charger, the tools, the extra tire, this is like 85 bucks. So here's the thing. When you get into RC cars, there's toy grade, then there is hobby grade a hobby grade car like this might cost two three four five hundred dollars a toy grade car might cost like 40 or 50 bucks but what you get for spending an extra little bit of money here it's still well under 100 bucks but you get so much more performance so much more modularity and upgradability of some of these parts if they put them on the market and you get the use of actual hobby grade stuff like this receiver is pretty much hobby grade this battery is hobby grade this motor i feel like it's a pretty standard size so you could probably upgrade it if you did want to go faster but i just love the fact that it's almost impossible to tip this thing over it is loads of fun and again and again, I love the fact that this open cockpit, these seats and this cage is just begging for you to attach an FPV camera and turn this into a real FPV car. You know how much they sell FPV cars um, like this? I mean, I don't know, they don't really make them. You have to kind of make them yourself and this one is perfectly set up for it. So what I did was I took this drone, this is the Catalyst Machine Works Shocker Tank, put a GoPro on here and follow this around a parking lot to get some real drift style video with an RC drift car. What do you think in the comments guys? What type of RC car setup are you going with for this year? What are your favorites? Do you prefer toy grade? Do you prefer hobby grade? Or do you prefer these ones in the middle that really give you a lot of hobby grade features with much closer to a toy grade price. Thanks guys.